Is your snare drum dead, dying, or in need of a serious tune-up? Then bring it back to life with a retrofit cable snare unit. Hey everyone, welcome to the Black Swamp Studios at BSP headquarters, where today I'd like to have a conversation about the options and applications of our retrofit cable snare units. So before our innovative strainer systems were developed, Black Swamp began manufacturing a selection of cable snare units that could be attached to any existing snare drum. Combinations of different cable types would bring depth and clarity to a drum sound, and when a crisp articulate texture is preferred, typically a band and orchestral situation. This concept of contrasting cable types that respond best at varying dynamics and timbres ultimately gave birth to our original sound art snare system and then transitioned into the groundbreaking multisonic strainer. You can learn about the history of our most popular multisonic snare system here. However, we still manufacture a full collection of retrofit units that can breathe life into a flat lining snare drum you may already own. So let's break it all down. When chatting about our cable snare units, I usually like to start with what kind of sound are you looking for? As we work with three different cable types, which each have a distinct sound quality and application. For instance, a stainless steel cable produces a bright sound, which is a bit more wet when compared to the other cable types, meaning there is a little extra sustain to the sound. Stainless steel is nice for shorter depth and piccolo drums, as this cable type responds best at soft to medium dynamics. Considering that, I also know some drummers like these snares for jazz and combo settings where a typical snappy drum set style snare might be too fuzzy or aggressive. The blue cable is nylon coated stainless steel and produces a drier, shorter sound, basically a standard orchestral vibe, which responds best at medium to loud dynamics. The gold cable is also nylon coated stainless steel, but thicker than the blue cable. This has a darker, throatier character, more similar to traditional gut snares. Gold cable is great for field drums or deeper snare drums where you want more roar from your instrument, as this snare type performs best at louder dynamic levels. From there, we have a blue and stainless steel combination unit, which is actually our most popular style. Because the blue and stainless cable have contrasting timbres and dynamic windows, these two cable types work well to together to present a balanced orchestral sound with a wide dynamic range. No brainer. So apart from the cable types providing multiple sonic opportunities, we manufacture snare units for 14 inch drums with two different lengths, each that serve a specific purpose. Our standard length snares are 13 inches long and lie fully on the bottom head, similar to a standard drum set or snappy style snare. Standard units are specifically intended for drums with little or no snare bed. We'll get to the relevance of this in a moment. Again, this style lies on the bottom head and will quickly transform the sound of your drum. Standard units are available in stainless steel, blue cable, and the combination model. The strands of cable on the standard length units are also slightly spaced apart, and for good reason. This allows each snare strand to vibrate more freely to help optimize response. If a buyer's snare drum does have a noticeable snare bed, I will direct them to our wraparound models. These units are 16 and a half inches long and wrap around the bearing edge and snare bed of the drum. When your snare side head is seated properly, the snare bed will help create a subtle arc in the head, which the cable snares will ride across while passing over the bearing edge. This creates more snare head contact which also increases response and sensitivity. Double thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more, you can watch our video on head seating here. Wraparound units are available as all gold, blue, and stainless models, as well as the blue stainless combination, also our most popular. Again, if your drum does not have much of a snare bed, do not put a wraparound unit on it. I repeat, do not. The cables won't properly make contact with the head and will actually interfere with sound quality and performance. That's all bad. So stick with a standard length unit. Before wrapping up, we have a few other special notes regarding wraparound models that are worth sharing. The snare ends for these units are intentionally smaller to make sure they fit through various snare gates on hoops. This also means the cable strands are spaced closer together. Remember the conversation we had about snare spacing? Well, it's ideal to see a little daylight between the cables to help boost response. 
Otherwise, it's like putting one big piece of cable on the bottom head, not very effective. In this case, you can manually spread the cables apart just a bit to create some space, but don't go crazy and be careful not to kink or distort the cable. After you've spread the snares a bit, you can mount them to the strainer and butt. And here comes our second tip, mounting the unit at a slight angle specifically for the combination unit because the blue cable responds best at a higher dynamic than the stainless steel cable, you can mount the blue side a little tighter. This leaves the stainless cable a little looser, which allows it to vibrate or respond easier at softer dynamics. Feel free to mess around with the angle and tension to help dial in response. We do this on our concert maple snare drums, which uses a combination wraparound snare unit. Basically, this is the whole premise behind multi-tension strainers like our SoundArt, Multisonic, and Pro 10 Studio snare systems. Well, perhaps there's a lot more to think about uh, than you expected or realized regarding our retrofit cable snare systems, but I appreciate you sticking with me and hopefully you learned something today. As always, you can find sound samples of all our cable snare units on our website and YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. Uh, leave a comment below on what your favorite snare unit is. If you also like what you heard today, be sure to boop that like button and subscribe to the BSP YouTube channel to keep up to date on new content from Black Swamp Percussion. Thanks for watching.